Good Sunday morning, and welcome to Ice Age TV, the Internal Combustion Engine Age YouTube channel that talks about all my cars and trucks, SUVs, the motorcycles, the Kiefer dog, the camper, the pool, the challenges. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. It's just incredible. Perfect weather for riding motorcycles, golfing, tennis, pickleball. Whatever your love is outdoors, this is the day to be out and about because it just is so nice and cool, not too humid, not too hot, and just blessed. And the rains have helped the greenery start to come back, which means I'll be cutting grass, weed whacking, and as always, good Sunday morning there to everybody watching my channel. Not a good morning conversation by any length, just saying good morning and just keep the channel going and saying hi to all those watching on a regular basis. Chug over to the shop got the gold rush outside got a lot of vehicles here don't we wow and but what we really have going on here if you're watching my channel is i spent yesterday afternoon um oh poor guy looks like he's coming to an end there so uh yesterday was a very lengthy video I made two videos of me playing around with the uh, honda talon jackson racing turbo um machine here and that was a lot of work very <laughs> aggravating there at the end so if you're watching my channel you kind of know what i'm talking about and here i have all my accessories out to uh i bought all these accessories back when i bought this thing and honestly i can't remember and i've been seeing back in february january march i just can't keep track and so i bought a ton of accessories that i wanted to do myself and wow, all I can say, if you watched my last video of this front Super ATV, that's the company's name, the Super ATV made me super mad. See, here's the uh, stickers on it. Super ATV is a huge company that makes all these accessories, probably side-by-sides and I'm sure other things. So yesterday, I spent the time of putting in the rear window, which that went pretty good. That, that installation... A little challenging. The biggest, the biggest challenge was this rubber molding, and uh, yes, this is all scuffed up. So I'm gonna get some, some nice sandpaper, and I'm gonna clean this up. And then Biker Bugs said if I pour hot water on this, I can probably pop this out. Because this thing, this is the first time with a side by side. The third one I've had that I actually flipped and did some beating up on it. Most every other one of them i never did flip it but at the same time it's a side by side so yesterday this turned i started on this work yesterday morning most of the morning in my office doing paperwork and, and it's a beautiful day but i just got too many things going on so i decided to get out here and get motivated to finally put the accessories on this talent and i'm not lying to you i started at one o'clock now of course i took a break and I watched the Olympic uh, games with some games and all with the uh, basketball game in France. And so, anyways, the whole point here is that I worked on this until like 7 o'clock last night. And between doing the back window and then this front window became very, very challenging at the end, which was so aggravating. This is all plexiglass, and this is a lot cheaper. So the Honda accessories, that's going to be more real glass heavier but a lot more money so for me the reason i went to super atv this time was just a money factor that i saved myself i'd say 700 dollars from the honda accessories to the super atv because you know the glass gets very expensive and for me it's just more about having that protection in front and what i really liked about the super atv is this gives you the option just to pull up on this and then this actually comes all the way down and locks in and then you have a solid front windshield, or you can take it in a raise up, and that's where I ran into a problem. Or you just want to vent it, which I like that idea a lot. Because until you drive one of these side by sides with a solid front window on you, and it's hot outside, uh, it's not you know you don't get that airflow. So for me, watch my channel. What you'll find out is it's this right here became a problem. The brackets don't line up. With the uh, when you put the bracket in, that strut doesn't go far enough down to connect into uh, the end here. You can see here, here's the end. That doesn't go far enough down to hook into this uh, bracket. So it goes like this here. 
you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this bracket here, got kind of like that, and that's going to go in like that, and that's going to be now your leverage for the uh, window when you push it open. And it's off just by a, a quarter of an inch, you know, a quarter to a half inch, it won't connect. And it makes no sense um, of what's going on, why this doesn't work. And I really don't want to just start drilling holes in this. I have no desire to do that. Biker Bug was like, I would talk to your Honda guys before you do anything. And I totally agree because the reality is the, wind, the windshield is totally functional right now. So it isn't like I have to have those struts on right away. Uh, so but that became very aggravating at the end because I had to take apart the windshield, put it back together numerous times of trying to move around the, uh, just trying to get more tolerances and play in this. And it just became very, very aggravating. But I pulled it off. And as you know, if I would have given this to the Honda dealership, my thoughts would be they're going to probably charge me four to five hours worth of labor, be my guess. So for me, I saved myself, I'm sure, a good $500. But the biggest thing is, it's about me just having a task. I'm sure many other people out there enjoy. I mean, I just love doing projects. That's just who I am. I like taking on tasks and projects. So today, I still don't even know what I bought right here. I have no idea what that even is. I can't remember. But I want to put the rear trunk in, so I'm going to do that, which that's the little cargo box that is going to go right back here, which is really cool. But I really want to put in the, the rear mirror, rear view mirror. And yesterday, initially, that was what I was going to do initially, is going to put the rear view mirror on and the side mirrors. But then I got to thinking, once I put this front windshield on, I bet you I'm going to run into a problem of how that mounts on here and how it mounts in here. So, because my former ATV that I had, a really cool one, I even have videos of me blasting through the pond with it and the property. And it was it was a, just a really cool, badass talon, which in some ways, why do you get rid of it? Eh, I just, it was so enclosed, I didn't like it. It was too noisy, had a bigger tires. And the only reason I bought this Talon, because the damn thing's turbocharged. I mean, that's what really drove, and I really like the color of this. But the whole point is, initially the video was talking about me putting my rear side mirrors on, putting my side mirrors on, rear view mirror, and then never played out. <laughs> so I got more motivated to do that. I really like this here. I mean, the quality, um, I think, is there. I think this is really is a good quality product for the amount of money you're spending for anybody out there that's uh, debating this. And but the only challenge is it's this rubber seal that you have to put on, and that takes a lot out of you to do that. That was a lot of work, and then it's very tricky in how you get this rear window in to that area. So you have to literally, I don't, I wish I had a tripod set up to show you how you have to take this window and you have to basically take it and slide it in like that. It's very challenging. To figure that out i'm like duh how do you do that so that's the uh so today it's an ongoing project with the uh, side by side because i want to get all this stuff out of the way and then i have just so many more other accessories like the honda goldwing that's a major project back here on the honda goldwing side i literally have uh i've got the gold strike floorboards i've got the rear brake assembly and then i have the whole rear trunk accessory, and that's that's a project. And right here, I'm puzzled at what's even down here, right here, right now. I don't even know. I don't even know. I think that is well. That's yeah. That's the daughter's the saddlebag. So I want to do the rear saddlebags on the bike. And well, also oh, here's the Yoshimura. Here's highway pegs. I haven't even put on my Harley's yet. The Yoshimura uh, rear tail. The rear uh, license plate, re, you know, relocation uh, on that. That's, like, that's on our Honda CB1000RR. And, and so for me, but I love these type of projects. I just love taking the time to, and I'm doing how-to videos. If you really watch my channel, yeah, I do have a lot of how-to videos. And nothing radical, building motors and transmissions and painting cars. But for people who go out and buy something and feel confident that you can do these things, I try to share that. There's nothing that requires, you know, really a ton of uh, mechanical experience. And, you know, Sunday morning, I'm sure some people are like, aren't you going to the car show? And I'm like, well, the kid's got a date. <laughs> the kid's going to uh, 
go to a, a fancy breakfast with her boyfriend, Brian. You know, I don't know what this is. I don't know. This is so strange. What is that? That was on my bike. This is just so weird. You know, see, for me, boy, you know, you start thinking, is that some type of spray over, you know, in my shop? I'm sure people know the story of the, the Camaro getting overspray for me painting out here with a can of spray paint. And I'm just now thinking, whoa, what is going on here? I haven't been spraying paint, but I just, I don't even know what the heck that stuff is. What is that? And that isn't from me riding the motorcycle. Uh, so, anyway, so my friend Chris, who I think traded his Rogue Glide, he never did reach back out to me to share with me whether uh, he uh, he completed that. So, and I just think to myself yesterday that what, you know, everybody's now talking about how Harley's going woke. And I'm thinking to myself, Harley went woke 30 years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago. Why do you say that? Well, it isn't woke. But we went to China. I mean, I think to myself, if you want to start getting really deep into what you and I own and drive, that's the Chinese regime, that the companies outsource everything to build. I mean, come on. I mean, sincerely, if you're going to go down the path of, oh, Harley's going woke, and I get it. I get all that conversation for the future where Harley's going, and they want to be all electric, which I don't support that by any means. But at the same time, I think you're riding a Chinese-made motorcycle. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, so it's kind of like, yeah, what a waste of time. And it's just, sadly, it's just others wanting to ruin it for the others. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's just a small percentage of people in this world that just love to ruin it for others. So the Benjamin, I've had a few people still reaching out. Benjamin Franklin still is present in the shop, and uh, no one has figured it out. And I borderline felt like maybe I just cut it off. And there's Don. Didn't hear from Don. Don regularly... Um, participates in my channel and I think he needs a timeout though so I can I get all that because he does a lot of interaction with my channel but hey good morning there Don and Jenny and the, and the doggy if you're uh, watching the channel and his daughter so I don't know I mean I hope he's okay but you know what it's easy for me to reach out but I think you know what it's just a timeout I mean I'm telling you right now I'm sure so many people here's a gator that is just this is the perfect workout of vehicle for me, when I do jobs and I work, if you have a pickup truck or a small vehicle, that's the challenge. Like for me, if I didn't have this gator, I'd be on the ground trying to put together stuff or on my bench, which would be even challenging because my bench always has too much stuff on it. Um, but having a workbench like your back of your pickup truck, that I just love. That's why the gator's in here this morning is because that was my work vehicle yesterday to work out of. To make it much easier when you're standing up. See, what you learn about as you get older in life is if you can be standing up, if you can be standing up as you're working on things, that's a huge difference than you bending over. It's really bad. As you get older in life, bending over puts so much pressure on your heart, your back. It's not good. So as you progress, the goal is to always try to... Uh, to stand up while you're working on something and be square with what you're uh, working on. But but back to uh, me yesterday, you know what? I went in last night about 9.30 to the camper, and, you know, I just turned everything off. I just like, man, who is just sick of all the damn crap? And I just unfollowed one of uh, the, a guy that I know that I used to buy a lot of stuff from because he's posting on Facebook the never-ending rant of uh, the hate of Donald Trump. But I'm just like, dude, you just need to go find a life, man. That's all this person does all day long is post content on Facebook of the uh, mocking of the uh, conservatives and Donald Trump. I just think, man, you know, you're you're just, you're so exposing yourself, man. There's going to be some rat whack job that's eventually come see you. I mean, people aren't, you know, you know as well as I do, when you start mocking people, and attacking people, what's going to happen eventually? They're going to attack you. I just don't understand how people don't get that. I really don't. If you're a person who constantly mouths off and belittles others and, and makes rude comments and try demoralizing people, there's at some point that somebody's going to show up and they're going to they're going to dish out something like you've never seen. So this guy here, he's a total fool. I mean, really sad because this is a guy that I gave a ton of business of buying motorcycles and ATVs and dirt bikes from. And all he does every day of his life, he gets off on, you know, making fun of people like me. And he thinks he knows all the answers. And he calls me 
through the views of what he thinks is right versus wrong in life that I'm just a moron and a dumbass. So it's just like, wow. Had I ever known that, that that's who you really were, I wouldn't have bought a damn thing from you. I really wouldn't have. So, you know, what a, I mean, just go do something else in your life. Here's the Mustang Dark Horse. In so many ways, I should be going to the car show, car meet. Um, but you know what? Uh, you know, I go to those car shows a lot. And that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work you up there and, and walk around and, and talk to people and share on the channel others the uh, the fun factor of me being up there and the kids not there and eh, it's just and there's Kiefer just harassing Ginger. He just loves to play with Ginger. I mean, it's ever ending. The Kiefer, the Kiefer lifestyle, right? So yeah, I mean, I can still run up there. Eh, I don't know, it's debatable. And the wife. You know, I went in this morning, said hi to the wife and good morning, and offered to take her to a nice breakfast and everything, but she didn't sleep well last night, and she kind of took a pass on that. So, uh, there they are, harassing the hell out of each other. So, anyways, that's it. I just like to say good morning, keep my channel active and going, and that's what I'm doing. And uh, nothing on anything, great lengthy conversations of to talk about besides just sharing my antics of what I do and how I use my time and you know what do you do with your spare time that's the thing about life is how do you what do you do with your spare time do you sit behind a computer and and make fun of everybody and mock people yeah I mean that's where today's society is people just live behind a screen uh, demoralizing others and belittling others as they try to present themselves of knowing so much and they're so much bigger and better than you it's the worst it's the worst it's the worst. So, anyways, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on a beautiful Sunday. Some of you may be getting ready to go to church today, which that's a great thing. And for us, I love going to church down in Tennessee. Love going to church down in Florida. We don't have that same relationship up here. We used to. We used to with local church down here, but we're not as active like we used to years ago. But that's unfortunate. But at the same time, um, we everybody makes it work to their advantage. And for Vinny who's watching my channel, he reached out on the channel and said, should he do hood pins on his uh, Dodge Challenger he just picked up? Beautiful used Dodge Challenger. And I said, I think the hood pins would look good because he has the performance hood scoop um, on that Challenger. So I think that would go with the theme of the uh, car. So I would. Now, if you didn't have the, the hood scoop look, I'd be a little bit like, eh, I don't know. But you know what? I have to look at the pictures again. I don't know if you have a rear spoiler. I'd have to look at your pictures again. And, and if you don't, I would highly recommend you get a nice spoiler for the back of that car because it really does give it more flair and character. And I feel bad now that I'm talking about this with Vinny being a subscriber of mine. And he actually showed his really cool um, Harley and uh, another picture he sent me. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in here and look at my photos again. Let me see, when I see his car, if he has, you know it's unfortunate? I didn't want to show his license plate, so I didn't, I didn't, but here you go. Yeah, I think it does. I think it has a spoiler. I can't tell. So, Vinny, I really can't tell by this picture, has that got a spoiler? It's so hard to see. I don't think you do. So, if it's me, I would do that. Um, That's pretty cool. And, uh. You know what? Just because he's such a great subscriber and my subscribers here, I was going to go here and uh, look at and what's interesting is his name is so, so common to my name. Um, so let's see. But you know what's incredible? I didn't download the picture of his bike. Oh, so sorry. Sorry, Donnie. I mean, uh, Vince, Vinny. Sorry about that. Good bad. There's a cool looking, you know, uh, ape hangers, soft tail, 08, I think it said, right? 08 soft tail Harley, if I remember right, on that. And it's like a burgundy, reddish color. The good old Harley look. All right, everybody. Sorry. I know. I talk a lot. I enjoy talking. I enjoy interacting with everybody out there that does uh, participate in the channel. And so it's just a good morning Sunday. And there won't be a car show for me today. But we have other things planned. Maybe get the wife a little bit more excited and take her somewhere to get some time with her. How about that idea, right? Hey, have a great day. God bless.